Hi guys, welcome back to His Grace Redeems. I am so happy to be joining you today. And I have a very quick DIY or DIY'd with three different alternatives. And I just wanted to say I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you know that you are blessed and highly favored. I know everyone says that, but we are. Um, I caught Andrew Womack this morning and his series was about living God's best. I think I got the title right. Anyway, living God's best. And he says, no one has maxed out what God has for them. And it was kind of profound. Um, the And it was followed by Joel Osteen and Joseph Prince with um, the size of your prayers or your prayers, God answers your prayers. So if you just pray, Lord, just help me to get through this month, he will do just that. But if you pray, Lord, help me to get through this month and be a blessing to someone else. Or help me to pay off my house and help someone else to pay off their house. God loves that kind of faith. So I really enjoyed just sitting down and listening this morning. And I really wasn't expecting that. So anyway, back to my DIY. I'm going to show you my befores. Because I bought several. And I remember to not DIY them before I show the before. So that's one. That was the striped version. Here is a Harlequin version. And then I have this one, which I haven't done anything to yet at all. And as you can see, these came from Walmart. And they are called the Fabric Document Holder. And what prompted this was two of them are, well, they're all gifts. Three of them are gifts, but two of them are gifts for my family. Um, I think I alluded to that in the haul video where I showed them before. But two of them are gifts for my family. And um, one of them I have to complete my swap from Swapbot. And it's a cross and mail art, I believe. So I was like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Am I going to... Am I going to show a cross like this or share a cross like that? Or am I going to print out something? Am I going to try to make a junk journal really quickly? I don't know. I didn't know what in the world to do. And I didn't want to just buy something that someone, you know, just hang on their wall, which is great because as you can see, I have two on my wall. But um, something that someone, it's tangible and someone could actually use. And so I ran into Walmart. I went to go see if I could find more of these. And I'll show you that one last. I'll move this out the way because it's creating a glare. I'm sorry. Okay. So, this is my first one. And I just kind of wanted to get rid of that yellow. I just left a, a little bit because the person I'm giving it to, they actually like um, the yellow. And yeah, I could have taped it off and you know, painted it, but I wanted it to look handmade because the person I'm giving it to actually enjoys um, the things that I make for them, and they like seeing me make things, so I gave it that hand-painted look. Now, the person this goes to is a little more sophisticated, and I will reveal who it is for later once I give it to them, so... I did this side in red and black, their favorite colors, and then this side, I put their initial, which is a T, and hopefully it's subtle enough. And finally, we've come to my swap. So I painted um, both sides, got rid of that yellow, just went over it with some black, and um, as it was drawing, I threw glitter at it, a little glitter. This is not the fine glitter, so it has more bigger specks. Hopefully it's not over the top, because it's kind of my style. A little bit flashy, or a little bit sparkly. whole lot of um, handmade and craftiness. And so this side, I decided, was where I was going to place the cross. 
and for this because it's so small and it's already pre-made I just used um, Fabri-Tac and what inspired it was I had a bandana and it's all over in this pattern so I was rummaging through my cl craft closet trying to find my Valentine stuff to get ready for the store and um, I came across this bandana. I guess I had purchased two or one was gifted to me. I don't even remember. Um, so I have two of these and one I actually wear. And then the other one I threw in my craft closet to craft with. And so I came across this and I was like, oh, thank God. It's crosses. How appropriate. And at first I was thinking of covering the whole thing. Both sides with the cross. And then I didn't want it to be overwhelming. I wanted to... Again, to be something she will use. And so I just cut the middle panel out. And I kind of ripped it because I like rough edges, as we are. It always tells a story. And then I wanted to sophisticate it a little bit or um, classy it up just a little bit. So, of course, what do I do? I put torn a torn ruffle on there. And so, I thought it turned out pretty cute. Hopefully, the person likes it. And again, I couldn't resist. Um, this is the glitter spray, the hairspray I usually used. And I had already put glitter on it here with the big flakes. So, I think it came out pretty well. And hopefully, it'll be something she uses because um, I have one. And I don't know if I've shown this before. Because it is from my Bible bag, from what I carry on Wednesdays. I finally got to the point where I purchased enough supplies to have a set of colored pencils and markers um, behind my couch. I showed you that before. Behind my couch, over at my desk, and here in my bedroom. And to be able to carry to church on Wednesday instead of having to pull it out all the time and put it back in. I think the only thing I'm missing is one in the car, but we'll get there. I have to figure out how to organize that. Anyway, this is what I carry it for. I have like a bag of pins. Um, there's my mini tape measure, highlighter, another pin, markers, uh, scissors, glue stick, pencil sharpener with eraser. Another eraser is back there and perfume because you never know when you might need some bell perfume just kidding it was a gift and I guess that's where it landed so anyway this is my three DIYs or alternatives on one DIY I hope you guys enjoyed it go grab you a document fabric document holder and um, do the same thing and this was just a little kids ring I put on there to give it a little bling and like I showed you with my bag inside, it's just plain. I gave her the scrap of the <clears throat> the cross. I don't know. She might be able to do something with it. Anyway, so go grab you one. Let me see what you can make today. Okay. You are so loved. Bye.